Hey friends, welcome back for day two of our sea otter lesson. If you went and picked up your art kit at Northwest, then you will have received in that art kit two crayons plus some, a paint tray and a paintbrush. Now, if you have not picked up your art kit, there's still plenty of time. You can go pick it up at Northwest any day of the week, Monday through Friday. Just let them know at the front office what grade you're in and you will receive your kit. It's absolutely free. If you are unable to get an art kit, that's fine. Just use whatever supplies you have around at home. It can be markers, pencils, crayons, whatever you have on hand is perfectly fine. I'm going to be using the supplies found in the art kit, but again, whatever you have is totally fine. So for this week, we want to make this otter look furry. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just start adding these short little lines with our brown crayon. Now you'll notice I am not coloring in my otter. I'm leaving lots of space, okay? So I'm just kind of drawing fur. I'm drawing it kind of at an angle so that it looks like it's draw coming around his head and giving him kind of that round shape to his head. Okay, so there's his head. I'm gonna add a little bit of fur to his ears as well. Okay, next I'm going to add fur to his body. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and get a container of water. This is just water from the sink, any container is fine. And this is the paintbrush that came in my second grade art kit. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can just color the rest of this with crayon or marker or pencil, whatever you have available. You'll also notice in the art kit, you got a little tray with some um, paint on here. To wake up this paint, you take your paintbrush, dip it in the water, and you just add some water to that paint and rub it around. It's gonna wake up the paint. I'm going to paint my otter's eyes black. Taking my time to stay inside the lines. And I'm leaving that one little white spot there so that it looks like there's a highlight. There's some light shining out of his eye. I'm going to dip it back in my paint and paint this other eye. I'm also going to paint his nose black. I'm also going to paint his ears right here on this bottom part. I'm going to paint those black as well. Now that I'm done with black, I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to rinse it in my water. So I'm just going to kind of spin it around a little bit in my water, make sure it's nice and clean. And then I'm going to take that paintbrush and now I'm going to wake up my brown paint. I'm going to be using a lot of brown paint and I'm going to paint all the rest of my sea otter brown. Now, if you notice that the paint starts kind of drying out over here, all you need to do is take your paintbrush, dip it back in that water, and just add a little bit more water to your paint and wake it back up. So each time it starts to dry out, just add a little bit more water to it to wake it up.
Okay, so you'll notice I have quite a bit of paint left on my tray. So I'm gonna let this sit out and dry before I put it back in my art kit bag. I do wanna add a little bit more black to his eye just to darken that one eye up a little bit. So I'm gonna just rub my paintbrush back in here and do a second coat of black. Um, I left his muzzle and his belly white. That's just my choice. If you wanna paint your entire otter brown, that is totally fine, okay? And if you wanna paint him different colors and you have your own paint set at home, go for it. If you picked up an art kit, you'll only have brown and black paint, okay? So that is what we're doing for this week is we're just painting our whole otter. Next week, we'll cut him out and add a background for him. But like I said, save this paint, okay? So just sit this aside, let it dry maybe overnight, just kind of like on a windowsill or somewhere. And once it's dry, you can put it back in your bag with your art kit. And make sure you also rinse your brush really well once it's nice and clean then you can also let that sit out and dry with your paint. And then you can put it back in your art kit bag and save those supplies for next time, okay? So make sure you share your, draw, your painting of your otter with me on um, Seesaw so you can receive credit for this project. I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Have a great week, guys. See you soon.